Chinese President Xi Jinping reiterated in his 2021 Davos speech that China will deliver on the Paris Agreement on climate change and promote green development. China will continue to prioritize development and implement the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. In his early remark at the Climate Ambition Summit last year, President Xi said China aimed to peak carbon dioxide emissions before 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. The pledge will see major benefits, including reduced air pollution, economic leadership in new technologies, and an improved global environment. It is hoped the move will also encourage other countries to act more sustainably as well. This will take a national effort in all fields of the Chinese economy, including energy, industry, transport, buildings, and agriculture. China now is the world's largest investor in renewable energy, accountable for about 30% of the total global investments annually since 2015. Along with the renewable energy and new technology adoption, China piloted carbon emissions trading in seven provinces and cities, including Beijing, Shanghai, and Shenzhen, since 2011 to explore market-based mechanism to control greenhouse gas emissions. The Ministry of Ecology and Environment will also accelerate the construction of national carbon markets, continue low-carbon pilot programs, and launch pilot projects for climate investments and financing. China has also set climate targets for its future economic development. To achieve the Paris Agreement goal to limit global warming, collective participation is required. Developed countries should help developing ones with expertise and technology and set examples. Since taking office, U.S. President Joe Biden rejoined the Paris Agreement, undoing his predecessor's move to exit from the treaty. The Biden administration made climate change a key focus of its policies, and the world is looking forward to their detailed work plan. However, last year, John Kerry, the special president's envoy for climate, commented in a New York Times report that China has not done enough to tackle climate change. We need to make the world a better place to live in. We have to cooperate and tackle the climate issue together. And as one of the largest world carbon emitters, Washington must show that it is serious about tackling climate change rather than just finger-pointing and exiting the treaty randomly. China will play its part to control the climate change globally. And we will honor our words.